Did you know that poorly processed cassava roots can be deadly? Also, have you heard elders say that we should not cook cassava roots in closed containers? Let's dig into the truth about these statements. Cassava is a tuber crop native to South America which is commonly known as yuca, manioc, or tapioca. Roots of cassava grow similarly to potatoes, yams, or ginger by swelling underneath the earth to store nutrients. From the ground up, cassava is a tall, thin tree with long fan-like leaves. The thick roots underneath the soil are what we usually consume as food, but the leaves are also eaten in some cuisines as well. Cassava is one of the world's strongest drought-resistant crops. It can withstand various harsh conditions and thrive in poor quality soil. As a result, cassava has become a predominant food source throughout the developing world, and today it helps feed over 800 million people across Latin America, Asia, and Africa. So then why can't eating cassava be deadly? The truth is eating cassava in raw conditions is what makes it deadly. Because, cassava roots, peels, and leaves contain two types of cyanogenic glucosides, named linamarin and lot australin. These compounds get decomposed by the enzyme linamarase which occurs naturally in cassava plants, to liberate hydrogen cyanide. These linamarase enzymes and cyanogenic glucosides are kept separately within the plant cells but if the tissue is damaged, for example by a bite, the two get mixed and rapidly release the hydrogen cyanide. Further, enzymes within our digestive system can also liberate hydrogen cyanide from the cyanogenic glycosides if ingested. Hydrogen cyanide released from this process is extremely toxic to humans and other living organisms as it stops cellular respiration. Without respiration, cells do not get the required energy which leads to cell death and can lead to the end of life. That is why eating raw or poorly processed cassava can be dangerous to our lives. However, by instinct or by experience people from generations knew that some sort of cooking or processing is required for cassava roots to consume those as food. The peel of the cassava root contains a large amount of cyanogenic glycosides. Hence, peeling off cassava roots before any processing can remove most of the cyanogenic glycosides of the cassava root. Boiling peeled and chopped cassava roots for 2 to 3 hours removes the hydrogen cyanide as a gas and some of the hydrogen cyanide gets dissolved in the boiling water. If we boil or cook cassava in closed containers, it blocks the efficient evaporation of hydrogen cyanide, which can increase the time required to remove hydrogen cyanide from the cassava root. This could be the reason some people say not to boil, cook cassava in closed containers. Further, the boiled water from cassava should not be reused for any purpose as it can be enriched with dissolved hydrogen cyanide. Other than boiling, it is considered that soaking peeled and grated cassava roots for several days until fermented followed by sun drying or roasting is safer in large-scale production of cassava flour from cassava roots. Some research suggests that boiling after fermentation can ensure almost complete removal of hydrogen cyanide from cassava flour instead of just boiling or fermenting. All these processes promote enzymatic degradation of cyanogenic glycosides in cassava roots to release hydrogen cyanide and make them safe to eat. Another thing to keep in mind is there are two types of cassava varieties, sweet and bitter. Bitter or wild varieties have a higher amount of cyanogenic content compared to sweet varieties. Hence, bitter varieties are not recommended for human consumption. For your knowledge, in September 2017, an outbreak of suspected cyanide poisoning involving 98 cases with two deaths, occurred in western Uganda. Epidemiologic and laboratory investigation identified the consumption of a cassava flour dish made from wild cultivars of cassava with high cyanogenic content as the cause of the outbreak. So, it is true that cassava can be deadly if not prepared with proper processing to remove hydrogen cyanide. So, I believe this video helped you to learn how to safely process cassava roots for consumption and get the answers to some of the questions you had in mind regarding the toxicity of cassava. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more videos like this and comment on your thoughts or questions you have.